What's up guys? This is Joy Neville back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Joy. I've lost 150 pounds on my healthy weight loss journey. I've kept it off five and a half years. This year I had a little bump in the road, gained a little bit of weight, um, but now I'm back on track. And in my videos I just show you guys, you know, the ups and the downs and the in-betweens of weight loss, kind of how to eat in a calorie deficit, how to work out. I show you my hard times, I show you my good times. It is what it is. So if you like that and you want to kind of maybe start living a healthier lifestyle yourself, stick around for some positive feed. All right, let's get into the video. Long time no see. I haven't posted in over a week. Um, I posted my last video was my son's army graduation, my youngest son, DeAndre. Um, and then I just had a busy week. The day I got back and landed, I went to bed. We got back, you know, I think midnight, one, something like that. Woke up, went straight to the gym, started working out again, started, you know, eating what I was supposed to. And what's crazy is that week, you guys, just from those couple days off, I gained water weight a lot, right? A handful, not a lot. I gained four or five pounds of water weight, four and a half to be exact just from a couple days, two days. It took me a week to get it off, six days to be exact of working out every day and eating healthy just to get that off. But it came off, I dropped another pound and a half extra, I'm leaning out, I'm feeling really good, and my energy level is so back on track. I was in a funk all year, guys, and I just felt like my energy was down, and it's because of the crap I was eating. I know that now. I did not know that. I wasn't always eating crap. I would basically eat good throughout the week and, you know, try. I would always try, and then on the weekend, I would fall off and eat a bunch of crap. Well, and then when my weight isn't moving and my energy is low and my body doesn't like when I'm feeding it and then mentally you get down, everything just goes down on hill or goes downhill. So what I want to say is if you're feeling like that, just know, give yourself a couple weeks of just slowly incorporating better choices into your lifestyle because you will start to feel better and you will start to feel fueled and feel energy. Sometimes we get in those funks, right? And granted, obviously, I didn't fall completely off track or anything. And that's key, consistency. And I just kept trying and kept trying. I just wasn't going all in, you know what I mean? But now I'm back to my normal lifestyle that I had for freaking five years and I feel good. And I've never in my life worked out every single day. I've just never liked the gym. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and be like, I love exercise, I don't. But I took it on myself and said, try. Try getting up every morning and going to the gym Monday through Friday. Let your body rest on the weekend and work out Monday through Friday. Oh, you don't have time? Well, go before work. Make time. So I made time. And I go to the gym every morning before work. And you guys, at first, the first few weeks, it was hard. It was very hard. I didn't want to go, but I did go. And I didn't miss a day. And you know what? If I did miss a day, like I went on a trip, I made up for it and worked it out through the weekend to make up for it. I never gave myself excuses. And I'm doing better. I have energy. So I can't tell you what to do with your life. I can't tell you or give you the answer. We're all different. We all have different feelings, mentally, physically. We have to find out what works for us. And I will never sit on this channel and tell you that your healthy lifestyle or your journey or your diet is going to be easy. If you want it, you just got to keep trying. And that's all I can tell you. I want it bad enough and I want to stay healthy that I just kept trying. And one day I just had an epiphany and was like, you got to do this. And it was the day I got on the scale and I was like, oh, you got to do this. <laughs> You're going backward. I did not work out for five years to go backward. So I just got it together. But it was not easy. And the first few weeks were the hardest. But once you get through, don't tell yourself this is forever. Even though technically it is forever. This is a lifestyle. Tell yourself, let me try a week. And if you can't try a week, let me try today get through today and if you do good today okay we got through today let's try tomorrow get through tomorrow okay we got through tomorrow and I promise you a couple weeks a few weeks of doing that you will feel better 
energy wise mentally feel better just about what you're doing when you do something good for yourself or for your health you just start feeling better about life period and that's kind of where I'm at okay with that being said this is a what I eat in a day video and I'm gonna show you what I eat um, I didn't meal prep too much this week um, to show you guys but I did I am gonna probably make a video I made two ingredient pumpkin pancakes or pumpkin muffins you can call them whatever you want they flatten pretty flat but it's basically pancake puree and equal parts um, egg beaters or egg whites mix it up add a little bit of um, cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice I personally added a few drops of sweetener and some baking powder but technically there's supposed to be two ingredients pumpkin puree and egg whites or eggs and it really does make a nice pancake or pancake muffin if you've ever heard of banana egg pancakes same idea same texture but different flavor if you like pumpkin so let's get into what I'm eating here I just turned off the stove I've got my egg beaters and for those of you that don't know and this is a cup of egg beaters for 125 calories it makes a good serving egg beaters are just egg whites let me say that again egg beaters are just egg whites people freak out and like oh egg beaters are crap they're crap first ingredient is egg whites one percent it has like some xanthan gum to make them look more like eggs some food coloring some onion powder garlic powder some seasonings that's it. So it's basically egg whites with some seasonings and a little yellow food coloring. So I like the look of them and the taste of them better than egg whites. But they're the same thing. So anything I use egg beaters on, you can use egg whites. Anything you use egg whites on, you can use egg beaters. Also, I have these. Let me grab them and plate them up and I'll bring you around. Okay, and if you guys are wondering why I'm very shiny and oily looking I just came from the gym I got my gym gear on and so yeah I literally just walked in the door and the next thing I do is start making breakfast in the morning I do fasted cardio and fasted um, strength training I literally just have my vitamins my water and I hit the gym when I come back I'm starving and that's when I want to fill my body with lots of lean protein and a little bit of carb and fiber to fill myself up so for this week meal for breakfast because I switch my breakfast weekly I eat the same thing all week it's just easy for me to have stuff ready in the fridge so I have my egg beaters and I have my pumpkin muffins that I'm going to top with a little bit of this sugar-free maple syrup it's five calories you can top it with whatever you want if you don't like you know sugar alcohol or chemicals use what you want to do I've even done PB2 on these so do what you want Okay, let's show you what I got here. Okay, this is what I got. Scrambled eggs. These are egg beaters. That's a whole cup for 125 calories. It makes a lot. And that would be basically five eggs. And you can't have five eggs for 125 calories. Then I have two. These are the pumpkin muffins. They deflate, you guys. They deflate when you take them out. They're really puffy and look like beautiful muffins, and then they deflate. They're just like the egg banana ones, the egg banana pancakes, but they're pumpkin and egg. That's it. And some um, pumpkin spice um, you know, seasoning, and then I did some sweetener and a teaspoon of baking powder. You probably don't even need the baking powder because it doesn't really do nothing. But I'm going to top these. They're really good flavor-wise. I'm going to top them with syrup. So it's like I have pancakes and eggs, basically, or muffins and eggs. And the good thing is this is all eggs. That's basically what I'm eating for breakfast is eggs and some pumpkin, which is fiber. You cannot go wrong. So that's going to be my breakfast. See, there's no height to these. They look so sad, but I promise you they're good. The flavor's there, and they fill me up, so that's all that matters. So I'm going to eat this breakfast, and um, I'm hungry, guys. Then I'm going to go shower and get ready for work. For work, I'm taking, so I'll show you now. Let me grab it, let me grab it. For work, I'm taking a turkey pepperoni stick. These ones are 80 for two. I'm taking one for 40 calories. They're about the size of my hand. For protein, 
And then I'm going to take some carrots and some cucumber and some raspberries. That's my lunch. I'm not a big lunch person, but I need to put something in my body because I do get a little bit hungry. And then for dinner, I'll bring you back for dinner. I haven't done what I eat in a day in a few weeks, so I got to get back in, you know, to showing you guys. I've just been trying to focus on myself. I can't show you guys positive um, feedback and positive lifestyles if, you know, I'm not in it. And I had to get back in it. But I did tell you guys how what I was going through, and I did show a little bit of what I was going through and got through it, you know. Um, this is not easy, and I'll say that every single video, but I will say I'm here. I am here, and in February, it'll be six years, and I'm here. I'm here, and I'm doing it. It's just consistency. People are like, what motivates you? What gets you through? What drives you? I will say I, I have motivation some days, and then some days I lose that motivation. Um, what drives me is I just remind myself why why I did it what is your why what that means is why did you originally want to lose weight or get toned or start a healthy journey or a healthy lifestyle or maybe just you know maybe get off diabetes maybe your why was your knees hurt your ankles hurt you couldn't breathe when you walked up a hill maybe you wanted to chase after your kids more maybe you wanted to do it to fit in a bikini maybe you wanted to do it to get toned because your back hurt or you had high blood pressure, whatever your why was, right? You had no energy, you were tired of buying plus size clothes. Whatever your why was, that's what I go back to, right? Whatever my why was, and my why originally was, I was at home, I was big, I wasn't doing a lot because physically I could not do a lot, which then caused depression and mentally you know going through a lot which kept me in the house and I found out I was um, having grandbabies um, that you know gave me more of a why but I was already started my journey a little bit but I don't think I would have came as far if I didn't have that why I wanted to be able to chase after my grandbabies I wanted to be able to do more with my kids um, yeah they're adults but they do fun stuff you know and I wanted to be able to go out and go on these little things we do and walk and get up a hill or run around with the kids or chase after an animal, whatever it is. I wanted to physically be able to do it and that was my why. I didn't want high blood pressure. I didn't want diabetes, right? So my why was physically feeling better and being able to do things so I could mentally feel better. That was my why. And so every time, like this year, I really slipped off. I really was starting to go down, right? I didn't go crazy. I kept consistent. I kept trying. I didn't give up. I did not give up on me, but it was a slippery slope. And I just kept going back to my why. Not the scale, not the clothes, not anything, just my why. And my why was I wanted to feel better. I didn't care what I looked like later. I didn't care what I looked like now. I wanted to feel better mentally and physically and I'm sorry when I'm not physically feeling good I'm not mentally feeling good and that's my why so you got to find your why guys because sometimes motivation isn't there it just isn't some days you're not gonna be motivated to go to the gym or eat better or move more or make better choices in life or whatever you're doing so just find your why and that could be with a job a raise um, a lifestyle change um, a financial change, a relationship change, whatever you're going through, find your why. Why you did it to begin with. And don't ever forget it. All right, guys, I'm going to eat this. Oh, and I'm going to go get ready for work. You know what I'm eating for lunch. Veggies, berries, and a turkey stick. And I'll see you back for dinner. Oh, by the way, this big plate right here of food. This is a big plate. It's not a little saucer plate. That is going to be, these muffins are only 25 calories a piece. I don't know if I said that. They're not pretty, but they're good. 25 calories a piece. So I'm having two of those for 50 calories and 125 of eggs. So I'm having 175 calorie breakfast. I mean, that's a good amount of food, guys. Oh, five calories in syrup, so 180 calorie breakfast. That's an amazing amount of food for 180 calories. And it's all protein. Let me tell you how much protein is in it, because I don't know. But I use my fitness pal to track my calories. I don't know if I've said that in this video for new people. So, 
I'm looking at my fitness pal. I gotta log my exercise, my water. I drink a gallon of water a day. Water is very important. But for nutrition, there is 28 grams of protein. 28 grams of protein in my breakfast. So, all right guys, I'll see you back for, you'll probably see me at dinner. What's up guys, I'm home. I've been home for a while. It's actually 7.30. I made my guys dinner. They had burgers, a salad, and some tater tots. I'm gonna make my dinner now. As I mentioned this morning, I didn't meal prep really this week. I meal prepped some pumpkin muffins and I cut up some veggies and, you know, berries and stuff like that. But I knew what I was going to do for my dinner, so I wasn't too worried about it. I had a bunch of chicken, canned chunk chicken, the white meat chicken to use. And I also had a bag of those frozen um, blackened chicken strips by Tyson that are really low calorie that everybody's using. I had a bag of those in the deep freezer I needed to use too, so I figured I'd just do chicken taquitos this week. And I went and grabbed me one pack of the 25 calorie Mission tortillas, and I also grabbed, I will grab one pack of these, the flour ones. These are new, they're called Zero Net Carbs. 25 calories, I don't know if you can see that, 25 calories. Um, 7 grams minus 7 grams equals 0, so 7 total carbs, 7 total fiber, so 0 net carbs. High fiber, no sugar, no carb, tortillas. They're soft, they're pliable, they're by mission, they're right in the grocery store. I bought mine at Albertsons, and so I got the flour and I got the corn. They also have a um, tomato basil one, just like this, but I didn't get that one. I got the corn and the flour, like I said. So what I'm going to do is make chicken taquitos this week. Yesterday I did beef taquitos. Um, my guys had tacos. I used the lean ground beef, did two ounces, and made taquitos out of that yesterday with a Velveeta slice, and then I dipped it in sour cream salsa. I mix it together and dip it, and I had a salad. Tonight I'm doing chicken taquitos. Tomorrow, chicken taquitos. So what I did is I took this can, a chicken breast. I'm going to be using the corn. 25 calorie mission tortillas and I'm going to be using one slice of this Velveeta 35 calorie cheese. So I took the one slice and I took scissors and I cut it into strips to fit perfectly long ways and my taquitos I'm going to roll up. I took the canned chicken, it's six ounces drained after all the water, and I added a um, tablespoon of taco sauce, a teaspoon of taco seasoning, a squeeze of some lemon, and a little salt and pepper. And so it's already taco chicken flavored chicken, or you know, taco flavored chicken. And I'm going to divide this into either two or three meals. So if I can get three out of it, I'll get three and log it as two ounces each, which is 50 calories. If I only can get two meals out of it, I'll log it as three ounces um, for 75 calories. So still really low calorie. Good protein. Easy. Easy peasy, right? I have done no cooking at all. So let's get into it. And I'm going to air fry them, so no deep frying. The key to air frying these, though, is get your tortillas out. Mine got pinched in the bag because the way they packed them. So get your tortillas out, get a paper towel, put them on there, fold it around, dampen the paper towel under the faucet with a few drips of water here and there. Pop them in for like 40, 50 seconds to get them steamed and loose. Roll them really tight. That's the trick. Steam your tortillas, roll them really tight. And what I like to do is add a little taco sauce to whatever meat I'm using or beans or whatever you're using. Make sure it's kind of wet and sticky like I put taco sauce and taco seasoning in here. It's very pliable, right? Same with the Velveeta cheese. I cut mine into strips. That's going to melt and it's going to glue the whole thing shut. Because in the air fryer, you guys know, the air gets to going around and things get to flying, right? So, that being said, let's get into this. I'm going to show you guys what I do. So, the other thing I meal prep to have as a side this week besides my salads, I'm going back and forth between salad and coleslaw. I did a coleslaw and I just used light mayo. The light mayo only has 35 calories a tablespoon. I did four tablespoons. This will be four servings. 
I did some everything bagel seasoning. I did a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a few drops of sweetener, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of red onion. And that was my coleslaw. So I'm gonna have this as a side. And really the only thing you're counting is this, this cabbage and the mayo. So it's like, I think 65 calories, something like that. All right. Ooh, they're hot, they're hot, they're hot, they're hot. Fresh out and ready to roll. Do not wait. Start working with them. And I know they're hot, but this is the best time. They're just so much more floppy and pliable right now. I'm gonna keep them on the wet paper towel as I use one at a time. I'm gonna keep them covered over here, if you can see that. I hope I'm not like in the way. I'm trying my best. Show it a little bit more light. I think that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna And see how pliable that is? I, you know, shredded it up really fine with my fork when I added the taco seasoning and the taco sauce. You only need like a tablespoon. That's probably too much. Hold on. Tablespoon or so. This is a very low calorie, but it tastes naughty. And I'm going to have five of these, you guys. It's good. They're good. Trying to get the chicken in there. I think I cut six slices on accident, but that's okay. Roll this as tight as you can because you do not want it coming open. And since I rolled six slices, I might take one of these slices and use just a little bit of cheese as the glue just to ensure, like that, just a couple little pieces. Now let's roll it again. Hopefully this works. Like I said yesterday, they came open, some of them, so I'm hoping today it's not as big of a deal. But that's how you do it. I'm gonna roll the rest and I'll bring you right back. Okay guys, as you can see, I used almost half of that, so I'm gonna log it as three ounces I used and just use the rest tomorrow. They're pretty fat taquitos. So here they are, I placed them fold side down. This is key guys, fold side down, okay, see? Fold side down against the wall of the air fryer. So hopefully they don't blow everywhere. Again, I don't even know if this is gonna be true. TikTok makes everything look easier. I saw them do taquitos homemade in the air fryer. Not these, these are low calorie, but you know what I mean. And they turned out fine. But when I tried them yesterday, they, some of them flew all over the place. So we're gonna try again. Another thing that I wanna do because these are low calorie and there's not really fat in them or anything, just take your little spray and just a light spritz on them. And then I'm going to lightly salt them it just gives them that tortilla chip, you know, or taco chip, um, you know, seasoning. And that's it. I'm going to pop these in my air fryer right here. And I'm only going to set them for about four minutes, maybe three or four minutes. I did six yesterday. Six was mm, a minute or two too long. So I'm going to check them about four minutes and I'll bring it. I forgot to say I'm doing 400 for four minutes. And then I'm going to check them and see if it needs more. It worked. Now, again, I did this yesterday. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But I thought microwaving the tortillas, using the cheese as a glue, and putting them against the wall of the air fryer might help. And it did. None of them blew up. None of them opened. So take that tip. These are like perfection, you guys. Look at the cheese pull action oozing out. Can we just take a moment? Tell me those don't look good. You're lying. They're crispy, they're toasty. Can you hear it? Real taquitos, like look at those. And you get five big ones, like these are fat, these are full. I got my coleslaw, heaping cup of coleslaw. It's one and a half cups to be actual. I measured it, that's why I call it heaping. I got a cup of green beans and all I do is put some garlic seasoning on them. 
And then I have my dipping sauce right here. So that is my dinner. And you guys, I get all that food for... Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, my dinner. Where are you at dinner? My dinner was 307 calories with everything. So that's my fitness pal if you're wondering what app I use. And my name is just Joy Neville on my fitness pal if you want a friend to me. And you can see basically everything I log every day from drinks to exercise to food. But my drinks is just a gallon of water. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm about to go eat this for 300, what did I say, 305 calories? I thought it was a little less than that, but I mean, that's not high. 307 calories. The only reason I think it's higher, what is it? Oh, my dip when it added a little over, but I need the dip. The dip stays, so um, yeah. So those are my calories, 307 you cannot beat that and I'm about to go enjoy my meal who said you cannot enjoy dinner okay guys so I have my fat free cool whip and all I do is take a tablespoon on each and spread it like so I top it with either Lily's dark chocolate chips or sometimes some strawberries cut up or some raspberries and then always some cinnamon tonight I'm just doing the cinnamon I'm gonna keep it simple so this is gonna be my snacky snack for the next couple hours and then I go to bed so that's it for this video guys I hope you liked it I appreciate each and every one of you that watch me and yeah you guys always support me you never make mean comments or sly remarks you've never really questioned my weight loss journey because you guys can relate you can relate to the ups you can relate to the downs you can relate to the in-betweens like I say in every video because there really is that it's a lifestyle it's a journey and um, and you can see that hey your girl's been doing this five and a half years I'm still here so thank you for your support I'm not gonna get all weepy eyed on you I love you guys I appreciate you and until next time stay strong stay beautiful and remember you can do this it's not easy but if I can do it you can do it I promise you you can do this believe in yourself and go slow take it one day at a time that's all that matters one day at a time love you guys Bye.